Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video in Azure PowerShell series. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Azure Cloud Shell. Yes. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, so this is the Azure portal and okay, and just on the top, you don't have to go here into the Sys services. Just on the top, you see this tiny little thing with the greater than and then the underscore sign. It says Cloud Shell. Just click on it. It'll pop up a window like you have opened the in the integrated script editor, right? Restarting your cloud shell. See, uh, it says the user setting is invalid had has been removed because I installed it earlier and then I d deleted the the configuration. Welcome to Azure Cloud Shell. Select Bash or PowerShell. You can change shells anytime via the environment selector in the Cloud Shell toolbar. Is that amazing or not? For now, I'm going to select PowerShell. It shows my subscription. You want to see the advanced settings. So if you hide the advanced settings, it will create the storage account as per its own requirements but if you will click on show advanced settings and you can see a use existing let's say I am using this the source group storage account create new file share create new storage account is test storage file share is assert file share it will create all of this in test srg new so for this cloud shell to work it needs the storage as well click on create storage it is creating okay 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 it'll take some time let me just pause Okay, we have gone to the next stage. Okay, it's finally done. Now you see this option now. Now you can do the same thing that you did in Azure PowerShell. So you can write connect Azure RM account. Let's see what it does. Use a web browser to open the page. This. Okay, it first asks you to authenticate for the auth login okay that's new let's do it I'm gonna select this okay okay it picks up from there great wonderful so get subscription ID that Get subscription ID so you can run your commands here and now you can do anything from here you can create new VMs you can create new virtual network new storage load balancer any resource you can click here and the resources you would create using Azure Cloud Shell via Azure PowerShell commands would not be created in the resource group that we selected to install the Cloud Shell you, you can specifically place your resources in any of the resource groups that you want in any of the locations like you do it from the portal. So it was just a short and sweet video regarding the introduction of the Azure Cloud Shell. We will continue to make wonderful videos like this for Azure PowerShell in future. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Discuss this channel with your friends, with your colleagues in the office, with, with the people who are new to cloud, to whom you want to introduce to this wonderful uh, era of the cloud. And don't forget to share this channel with them.
or it will help us to get more audience it will help us to get more comments more feedback and it will help us to make more videos on the new topics till next time have a great day ahead thank you for watching this video